Okay, so this one's going to be a really fast one. Um, the creation of splat maps keeps on coming up, and really all it is is a channel pack texture. What a channel pack texture means is that it takes the red, green, blue, maybe alpha channel, and it tries to pack masks or other uh, valuable information into them so that you can use them. Uh, the RGB mix allows you to mix RGB, so there isn't an alpha input on this, but you have the RGB that, that come through, which is pretty common for a splat map anyways. And you just have to put information in it that you can utilize. For me, what I would like to have is something like height information. And I want a full range. Uh, what a lot of times people will do is they'll go ahead and output a, uh, a, a height range that's just one specific section. Um, I like to try and keep my options open so by outputting the full range I can then adjust and manipulate it something like Unreal or Unity. By that same token I've got a slope coming in through here and I've got a relatively small range here but I've got a really large fall off. What that does is gives me a really um, powerful gradient all the way up to the top from the least to most extreme slope which again I can then manipulate. I can change uh, once I'm inside the engine uh, with some other uh, utilities. And then the last, I'm using a soil and a flow. So the soil is graded, but it's the, otherwise the default settings. And then the flow, the rain cycles have been brought up so that it just enhances some of that flow there. And I've just combined them together with screen at 100% and I get this nice cavity sort of flowing map which is useful for a train. So these three pieces of information are combined together and then I just have to simply right click, mark for export along with my height map and I'm good to go.